right, so you heard some ambient type tones there from our wide range neck pickup in a vintage Yamaha semi-hollow guitar. So we're, you know, if you notice, we're kind of flip-flopping the order here, starting with the playing, getting right to it, um, less of us talking. And even in the background, you're gonna hear some of the ambient sounds as we're flipping through. Uh, we're going through a Source Audio Collider, which is one of my favorite pedals of the last couple years that I've purchased. I love loved the way that I can get all these different uh, ambient type tones. And we'll talk about kind of why you might consider the, the wide range. So so give, give a couple thoughts, Marco, on maybe some of your favorite things about the wide range WRH pickup that, that works for not just ambient music, but just effects in general. It seems to play nicely. Yeah, I agree. So it's kind of like, and this is maybe my opinion, but I hear a lot of people that love using a lot of effects they love having like, say, if they're on bass, they like the J bass pickup for the effects because mm -hmm. it really kind of pokes through whatever the effect is doing. I think that single coils kind of have more of like that peak. Maybe that retains your like fundamental note or something. I feel sometimes with humbuckers, you kind of get washed out if your delay is, you know, your mix is past a certain point or something like mm -hmm. that. But I feel like the strident nature of a single coil is, it just is really there. I mean, the fundamental note is there and you can kind of hear it and different things dynamically. And our WRH pickup is essentially like two Tele bridge pickups wired together, yeah. kind of like a humbucker. So like from the root, like where the sound is coming mm. from, it's like it's getting uh, sampled by a single coil, but then it's <laughs> running through two coils. And so you get that series like oomph and like kind yeah. of compression. Um, but you really, I think the WRH is really awesome for like a neck pickup in, in those instances, like you were saying, like a semi-hollow and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I um, mean, it really just maintains that kind of clarity. And this guitar even has flat ones on it. So yeah. we're kind of rolling off that treble a little bit. And I think they meet in the middle in a really nice way. But yeah, it seems like there's just like a stronger signal coming off of this these kinds of pickups for the effects and like you'll hear it with the reverb and the delay and but feel free to experiment on your own end and, yeah. and try uh single coils with effects and humbuckers with effects and let, let us know what you think i think yeah definitely and and like you mentioned i think one of the biggest things is just that that clarity and kind of that hi-fi cut through sort of sound and you know try not to use a bunch of buzzwords but it, but it is one of those things where we've used these pickups in multiple 335 semi-hollow type guitars and they work great in solid body guitars too, but they, they just seem to have that dynamics that you're sometimes missing. Like you, you brought up humbuckers and traditional humbuckers can be muddy or woofy sounding. And then these are going to just kind of, they're going to kind of come through, but they're not powerful. I think that's the thing that I think is important to mention about them. They're not really powerful pickups. They come through and you do, you do have like the flavor of the single coil and the flavor of the humbucker, but it, it's kind of like on the spectrum, you're leaning towards the single coil more on the tone. And, and so that, that allows you to kind of layer on effects in, in the recording that you heard in the beginning. We've got a reverse delay. We've got a uh, shimmer type delay that we have on there. And then we have another delay. Uh, we're going into a Fractal Audio FM3. We have another delay on that as well and another reverb. So it's kind of like we're stacking tons of delay and reverb and you probably can't hear all of it. And again, sometimes the ambient stuff gets really washy and that's kind of the point or you're you're trying to get some sustainy stuff going and, and these really will articulate that well. And then I find you can throw a boost pedal on them mm -hmm. to kind of get them back up to a territory that's more powerful if you want to. Mm -hmm. So let us know what you think of that. And again, we're not um, trying to be super ambient players necessarily, but we, we find ourselves using a lot of experimental sounds and, and really just like to be inspired and we want to plug something in and get inspired. And I think these pickups really, really lean towards that. So we're going to include a link to the WRH humbuckers in the description below. And the ones you saw in that guitar are our open, if you see on the website it says open nickel, open chrome. That's what those are. It's just open top where you can see the three by three uh, polls exposed there. So that's what we were doing. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. We've got a lot of cool pickup, pickup related guitar content, guitar modding content, and just us yakking about guitar stuff in the industry. Uh, just a couple of guitar nerds making some pickups and uh, we appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thanks guys.